Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and this is Teacher C and today we are going to discuss about the topic of one of the topics in Capstone and Research Project which is the um, creating background of the study. Okay, so again, by the way, this is Teacher C or Chris Agarino. So today our topic is all about the background of the study. So before anything else, let's have an activity first. So we have here activity number one. You need to arrange the scramble, scrambled paragraph. Okay, so we have here arranged the steps. So first we have the blue one, discuss the problem or gap of the research. Or gap means the limitation of the existing study. We have the yellow one, present your proposed solution. And the red one is give a general overview of the research topic and introduce the pivoting ideas you will be using throughout the research. So now, let's try to arrange the steps. Ano yung nauna, pangalawa, and pangatlo in creating your um, background of the study or introduction of your uh, research. Okay, are you done? So the correct answer is we have here. The first one is we have the red one or the, you need to give a general overview of the research topic and introduce the main idea or pivoting idea you will be using throughout the research. Then the next one is you need to discuss the problem or gap of the research. Again, gap means the limitation of the existing study. And lastly, you need to present your proposed solution or idea. Okay, so we were going to discuss this one every part or every steps later. Okay, so again, for this vlog or for this episode, we are going to discuss about the background of the study. So the objective of this lesson, uh, the students will be able to describe and write the background of the study. So if you're ready, so let's start. So background of the study is one of the key aspects you need to get right when you are writing a research paper. It is the key to introduce your readers to the topic of your research. So Anazi 2013 said that the background of the study is the compilation of sufficient information based on the analysis of your proposed argument or problem and the steps required to arrive at the design and implementation of feasible solutions and the result achieved. Thus, background study is the work you, need, you did to determine this is your problem. These are the methods required to solve this problem and the purpose of methods or experiment will be used or you'll be using. So we have here the steps in creating your background of the study. So we have three steps in creating your background of the study. First is you need to provide overview and introduce your research topic. The second part is you need to discuss the research gap or the problems or research problems. And lastly, we have uh, you need to introduce your proposed solution. Okay, so we have here the for first example, title, pill dispenser, and Arduino-based medication reminder. So we have here the green one, the blue one, and the yellow one. So all you have to do is to arrange these paragraphs, kung sino yung nauna, pangalawa, and pangatlo, in um, explaining or um, writing your background of the study. Okay, so I will give you time to arrange this paragraph. Okay, are you done? So let's try to find out. So we have here, the, the first one is we have the yellow one. So this is the introduction of your topic. So let's read. Taking medication is occasionally frustrating but uh, ultimately necessary. Pill or medication reminders are just what it sounds like. It reminds people to take their medication at the end a prescribed time. 
It is like having an alarm clock to remind a user to wake up early or at a specific time. With the use of technology, specifically smartphones, uh, people can now find a variety of notification uh, reminder application which they themselves can set the time and the number of times they will take medication. Pill reminder are cheap, but using a pill reminder is more or less relying on your memory. So on the other hand, smartphone alarms are free, but most people end up ignoring this alarm as constant notification can get annoying after a while. So if you look at this one, uh, the uh, the first part or the first paragraph describe what is the topic all about. Okay, the next one is we have the problem. So according to or the yellow uh, the blue blue part or the second paragraph, uh, according to uh, Chisano, 2016, current problems with taking medications include but are not limited to taking wrong type of medication, taking the wrong uh, dosage of medication, taking the medication of the wrong time, forgetting to take the medication at all. So these are the problems encountered, especially in taking medicines. So we have here for the green one is you need to uh, uh, discuss your proposed solution. So we have here in the green one, to aid those problems, the researchers will design a device that will dispense a pill and notifies the user by turning an alarm on but won't turn off unless it senses the hand of the user to get the pill. Moreover, pills will be dispensed at a given span of time. Therefore, the researchers aim to develop and utilize the pill dispenser with an Arduino-based medication reminder using ultra ultrasonic sensors. So, this part, you, the researchers um, discuss their proposed solution, which is the pill dispenser, an auto uh, reminder uh, pill dispenser, okay? So it's also an Arduino-based medication reminder, okay? So these are the steps in creating your uh, research background or background of your study. The first one is you need to discuss the topic. What is your topic all about? The second one is you need to find the problem or the research gap. And lastly, you need to uh, discuss or present your proposed solution. Okay, let's have the second example. Development and utilization of Project Cupid or coping up and providing information about depression. So we have here the red, the violet, and we have the green. So all you have to do again is to arrange these paragraphs kung, asa, kung sino yung nauuna. Yung pangalawa at yung pangatlo. Okay, so I will give you time to read. And then you're going to um, arrange the following paragraphs. Okay, time is up. So now let's try to uh, determine uh, if your answers are correct. So we have here the first one is we have the purple or the violet. So this paragraph describe the, describe the topic. So we have here challenges are always present in every aspect of life as it leads to stress until it gets bigger and will continuously spread covering the mind of a human as it becomes depression. So depression is a serious illness that should uh, give an attention because their emotions are being manipulated. When things get uh, tough, which they think that committing suicides is the solution to get over with it. What is in the mind, many people are affected as they take it seriously and to tend to end their life. So, well, in fact, it can be cured. So, coping and giving solutions, it is one thing that people can do to save their life. The focusing on the negative sides, given that every person is unique, people can also have different strategies in coping and in order to uh, alleviate it. So, in this part, the researchers discuss what is the topic all about. So it's all about the depression and uh, cause of depression. 
So next is we have here the red one or the second paragraph. According to the study of Madali et al. 2018 states that the factor that mostly affects the life of a teenager in a peer pressure and academic per performance or academic demand. As stated in the study, peer, peer pressure is one of the main reasons why some students suffer from depression. Moreover, the study also stated that academic demand can lead students to depression as they felt depressed when students are tasked to do their requirements and project at the same time. Students are pursued a pressured when they saw their grades or ranking going down. Because of this, the researchers will create a brochure and poster which it can be input some important information regarding with widely spread of depression. So the researchers, uh, the research project aims to uplift those students who are suffering from depression and informing them that depression could ruin the life of a person. So thus, this project will lay down some possible coping mechanism. So their um, strategy or their proposed solution, uh, they're going to create a brochure and poster for the uh, spread the awareness of this uh, kind of um, problem, which is the depression. Okay, so these are the steps in creating your um, background of the study. Okay, so again, thank you so much for listening.